Doctor Who Memories The Daleks Hello and welcome to another video. This week I want to talk about the original Dalek story, The Daleks from 1963. Now my uh, experience with the Daleks goes back a long way, not to 1963, but uh, more like 1988, mid-1988. Now, at that point, I had been a fan for about uh, 20 months, I would say, 19, 20 months. The only stories I'd seen at that point, not counting ones I saw when I was a very little kid and didn't really have any m much memory of, but the only ones I, I'd seen at, at, in recent as a fan were a couple of Pertwees, Spearhead, Day of and Death to the Daleks, and a couple of Toms, Revenge of the Cybermen, and what was the other one? Robots of Death. Um, after that point now, however, I had joined what was the, the, the sci-fi club at my high school. Now, my English teacher, who knew I was a, a Doctor Who fan, had been bugging me to join it for a while. And I kind of resisted because, well, A, a I'm a naturally contrary bastard, and <laughs> even back then, not the most sociable creature in the world. But um, eventually, I kind of relented. Actually, the primary reason I relented was that at the end of every school year, we had this like activity week that we are, uh, and we had to do some kind of activity. And I, I, I was in the second year of, of high school. At the end of the first year, I'd done this like it's a knockout thing. Now, people of my generation, at least in the UK, will know what it's a knockout is. And um, yeah, it, it was a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, not exactly relaxing either, <laughs> and they had this thing on the on on the uh, on the schedule, so called a video project with the sci-fi club. So I thought, you know what, that sounds a lot easier. I, 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 <laughs> I thought I, I thought we were going to sit around and watch videos for a week, which which, which sounded fun. Uh, as it turned out, as it turned out, we we were actually making a video, in the sense of uh, like a, a a fan movie, basically. Um, we actually ended up we actually ended up making four of them, and 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 a few audios uh, over the course of the next few years. And I became very much involved in that, in acting and that, and having a great old time. But the point is, because I joined the sci-fi club, I made and I, and I made some friends there, some fan, some friends who were also fans. Uh, one of whom was, I don't know, he, he was clearly very much involved in fandom and he knew a lot of people and he had a lot of copies of old Doctor Who stories um, like pirates and copies of copies and ones from overseas and ones off satellite and all sorts of ones that I obviously just did not have access to because all I had access to to that point was the official VHS releases which were fairly thin on the ground um and anyway, we we became friends, and uh, during that activity week, I basically asked him to. Uh, I supplied the blank tapes, and I asked him to tape me a, a few uh, pre-Sylvester stories because I I'd seen season twenty-four. That was the other one I'd seen. I'd seen season twenty-four, but I, apart from those few VHSs, I hadn't seen anything much from the pre-Sylvester Doctors. I, I certainly I had I'd not seen any Hartnell. I'd not seen any Troughton. And again, I only had vague memories of, of, of Davison and, and even Colin. Um, so I wanted a story from each of them. And the story that I chose from the Hartnell era was the Daleks. It seemed like a, a... I mean, I could have chosen the first story, I suppose, but the first Dalek story seemed like a, a good one to choose. Um... I wasn't a massive fan of it at the time. It was okay. Of course, the, 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 the copy probably didn't help. It wasn't the greatest copy in the world, especially with the magically bendy top of the screen. Again, this is something that only people from my generation will understand and remember when the, 
when you when you have a copy of a copy and the quality gets worse sometimes it's not just like graininess on the picture the top of the screen would actually kind of bend in on itself in a very peculiar manner and that was that was that was my copy of the daleks nonetheless i i watched it <laughs> um it, it was okay i liked hartnell um i, I liked ian and barbara it was a bit long and slow f for me at that point but it was okay um because it was only a, it wasn't that long it was maybe a couple of years it was i mean it can only have been late 80s and early 90s because i was still in the uk that the official vhs release of the daleks came out in those two parts of course just to gouge a bit of extra money out of us because yeah yeah you couldn't fit seven episodes on a three-hour tape your lane sods um and so you know we look back now and think that the vhs's are nowhere near as good as the dvds and the blu-rays it, it, it was still a quantum leap over the copy of the copy of the copy of the copy that i'd previously had though i have to say i always still kind of at that point i still i watched the hartnell era the ones that i had at that point which were not the many um at that point i always kind of regarded the hartnell era as almost like 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 the the fag end of doctor who that you kind of had to wade through to get to the to the better stuff sacrilege sacrilege um now uh for a long time i guess I, at some point in the late 90s early 2000s i didn't i wasn't watching it for a, a while and the daleks was a story that i hadn't seen for a very long time i did pick up the dvd obviously eventually i d i think they re-released it on vhs later in the 90s didn't they there was a re-edition of it another edition of it i didn't pick that up i did get the the the, the dvd it was i think it was kind of the late 2000s when i kind of i went back and did a big marathon of the show and started watching it in order again and it was at that point that i uh, i really kind of i fell in love with the hartnell era more than i had before and and very much appreciated the daleks and i i remember i remember in 2014 i i got a brand new tv a, a smart tv or well it wasn't a smart tv a wide a hd widescreen tv though which was the first time i'd got that because I, I i actually had the same television for 18 years the old-fashioned tv i had from 1996 to 2014. i think i had it repaired once in the early 2000s but otherwise that was it it lasted nearly 20 bloody years and by the time it went in 2014 it was so out of date that even tv repairs couldn't repair it so i had to kind of upgrade and i remember that the daleks was one of those stories that i watched first on my new tv and was really impressed by because it was much bigger as well and was really impressed by how how great it looked kind of much in, in much 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 bigger than the tv i'd watched it on for a, a very long time was now i have to say these days unfortunately i i have kind of struggled again with the hartnell era in recent years i don't know maybe my, my attention span is not what it was perhaps <laughs> not, as, not as bad as gen z mine for the most part i'm not on tiktok anyway <laughs> um so i have struggled with it a little bit lately i I can't remember the last time I watched the Daleks. I think I did try it a few years back. I wasn't really in the mood and turned it off. I will have to go back and watch it again. Of course, hopefully at some point we're going to be getting the Blu-ray of it. Hopefully in the next few years if they get the fingers out. But yeah, anyway, those are the, my experiences and my memories of the Daleks. It's not one of my absolute favourite stories, though obviously I appreciate it and respect it for what it did for the series, because, you know, the series probably wouldn't have lasted as long as it did. I mean, it's a shame we had to have New Who, but uh, that's beside the point. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and my rambling through memory lane, and I'll talk to you again soon.